Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome to Woza TV. It is another time for us to react to this wonderful excerpt from this wonderful man of God, Dr. Abel Damina. I believe that you're going to be blessed. Your life will never be the same again. The name is Revivalist Jude Ababio. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to like. Do not forget to leave a comment. Most importantly, do not forget to share so that everybody can also have access to the channel. Your friends, your loved ones, your family, relatives, even your enemies. Let everybody have access to this channel and to this excerpt. Let us go into this excerpt. We'll be back soon. Galatians 2.16, read for me. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. Knowing that a man is not justified by fasting two times a week, by wearing her tie and long gown. A man is not justified by leaving your ears without earrings and your neck without necklace and your fingers without rings and your body covered from head to leg with a hijab covering your face. Only your two eyeballs are open. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. Read, read on, read on girl. But by the faith of Jesus Christ. The justification is by the faith of Jesus Christ. So it's not automatic. By the faith of Jesus Christ, yes. Even we have believed in Jesus Even Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ. That we might be justified by the faith of that Christ. That we may be justified by the faith of Christ. And not by the works of the law. And not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be For by fasting 40 days every three months, praying every midnight, rubbing oil on your face and eyebrow before going for visa interview, anointing your pencil to write exam is the highest realm of stupidity it ever saw. In fact, it's an insult on the school fees your father paid. To pour oil on your pencil for exam is an insult. Are you a magician? Yet, with the oil on your pencil, you got 14 over 100. And an unbeliever that didn't put any oil got 100 over 100. Is that not a slap on your oil? Hello, lovely one. Welcome back from watching this except from Dr. Abel Damina. Um, it is very important for us to understand his point and what he is talking about. For the fact that we cannot be justified by the works of the law. And it, it, it is not done, it cannot be done anywhere by the, by, the, by, the, by the works of the law. No one can be justified. It is very specific in scripture. And that means that if you go back to the laws of the Old Testament, if you want to follow all the laws, we have to go by all. If we are not able to go by all and we just misplace one or we are not able to go by even one of them, we have, we have not been able to fulfill all the law. This is what God knew that we will not be able to do. And that is why he sent the man Christ to come and fulfill the law for us. Now, when Christ came to fulfill this law for us, out of his fulfillment, we have been justified. So every believer who have already been justified by faith in Christ Jesus. So justification is in Christ Jesus. You don't have any extra work to do. Listen, when Christ said that it is finished on the cross, indeed it is finished. There is nothing else to add. There is nothing else to top up. Justification is only in Christ. So the man of God went ahead to explain and give certain examples that there are people who believe that they can only be justified probably by their fasting, probably by um, 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 praying and all that. All these things are good. They are ingredients of the Christian faith. But that is not what can make one justified. No way. There is no way you can be justified by fasting. People have fasted and out of the fasting they've even died. There is no way you can, you can say that you are going to pray and prayer is going to justify you in the eyes of God. It is never done anywhere. So justification is the work of Christ. And we receive justification by faith in Christ. When we receive Christ in our lives, that is where we are also, what? We are also justified. So we don't need to do something. It is like we are trying to corner God. You cannot corner God. For example, he made another uh, example that I think we, we have all seen before. When we were in secondary school, some of us were not um, studying well. It was all about prayers. We believe in that when we went sit behind the people, we were going to pass. At a point, people were even telling us that some of, in quotes, some of our leaders were telling us that God has a pen. 
uh, because God has a pen. That was our mentality because we think that God has a pen. We go to the exams hall and we don't study. We go and see they believe in God to do a miracle for us. And it will come and you will fail. And those who don't know God and who have nothing to do with God will go steady, sit down, and they will pass. This is what we are talking about. It means that you, 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 they, these are principles, okay? But you don't need to follow certain principles to be justified in the eyes of God. Unless you, 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 you pray before you can be justified. No, unless you fight before. No, 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 no. Those things, they are, they are matters of the law. It has nothing to do with our faith. So that is what the man of God is trying to explain. Justification is solely by the work of Christ. And it is, we receive it by faith in him. Believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are justified. All right, believers, loved ones, family, relatives, friends, enemies, everybody. I believe that we've been blessed by the excerpt from the man of God, Dr. Ebel Damina. Um, we are going to come your way some other time with another accept, another message. But do not forget to also subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to like. Do not forget to leave a comment. If still you, there is something I don't understand, leave it at the comment section. Let us deal with it for you. Um, the name is Revivalist Jude Ababio. Stay blessed. Be on top. Be a topic. Bye for now.